joining us, Kelsey. Thanks for having me. You are welcome. Uh, we're just going to wait a little bit longer for people to come on. Yeah. And yeah, we left. Oh no! We lost her. I know we lost her. <laughs> so Kelsey, how's college? College is insane. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, I'm having trouble keeping up this semester, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> how do you? How do you like? Do, but you're writing the other book, right? Yeah. I, well, actually, I did finish um, a draft of book two, and that is in my editor's inbox. So that is off my table right now until he. Comes back with all his notes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So is it is it hard doing school and writing a book at the same time? For me, it is. Yeah. Usually, one or the other other suffers. Um, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. So how long? How long do you um, write for each day? Slash, do homework. Like, how do you handle that? It's like an accumulation of minutes throughout the day. I write. During class for 10 minutes, don't tell my professors. Yeah. And then I'll wait 10 minutes between class, and then I'll get home, and I have a little time before my shift at the bookstore, so I'll write for 20 minutes, and then when I get home, I try to write some. So it's really whatever I can manage. Okay. So what, what are you going to school for? I'm majoring in English with a minor in math comm. Ah, okay. So you are going for English. That's really yeah. awesome. So I thought it was a <laughs> Do you think you're going to go for, like, full-time authoring, maybe? I would love to. Um, right now, I don't think I could afford it. <laughs> Just, oh. You know, I have very expensive tastes, mm -hmm. so I do need to work. But um, that's a goal for some someday in the very distant future. Someday. <laughs> well, you're doing really good right now. I mean, how old are you? 21. 21. Yeah. That's awesome. And when did you got published? When you were twenty one, then? Um, I got the book deal when I was twenty. When you were twenty. Yeah. And so, who was the first person that you told? Who was the first person? I think it was my mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think That's I called like, like a celebration. Like, like, yeah, I might have spazzed out just a little. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. It was an amazing day. Yeah, and then after my mom, I called pretty much everybody in my contact list. <laughs> Mass text. Yeah, even the people I don't talk to. <laughs> You're like, I'm an author now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it was amazing. Okay. Well, um, thinking of other. Hold on. So I guess we'll just get started right yeah. now. If you yeah. okay with that? Absolutely. We kind of said it would be ten minutes from now, but we are liars. Um, so what are you currently reading? I am reading The Poison Princess by Cressley Cole. Mm -hmm. um, I'm reading it because my agent really talked it up, and whenever she recommends a book, you know it's got to be good. So um, I'm only 20 pages in, so I can't really say if it's amazing or not, but I'm enjoying it so far. Okay, so far. That's good. Yeah. That's good. How yeah. did you come up? Oh, were you going to say something? So... For those of you that don't know, Kelsey Sutton is the author of Some Quiet Place. This is her book, and it's super good. And uh, so we were wondering how you came up with the idea of emotions and nature being people, such as the characters in Some Quiet Place. Yeah. Um, actually, it was kind of a domino effect. Um, I came up with the character Fear first before anyone else, even Elizabeth. And... Um, Back in the day, I used to start my manuscripts by jotting down just a random sentence, whatever first popped into my head. And um, that day, I sat down and I typed out, I think it was something like, fear rooted me in place. And um, I deleted the sentence because I didn't like it, but I kept focusing on that on the word fear. And then it eventually morphed into the first sentence, if you remember, fear is coming. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the rest really came from there. And um, I thought, well, if I have fears and emotion, then I probably should have all the other ones. And then after I'd had so much fun personifying the emotions, I personified seasons and elements, and it got really out of control. <laughs> but a really cool out of control. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Yep. So, um,. When writing Some Quiet Place, did your characters represent people that you know in real life? Yeah, um, a couple of them did, definitely. Um, 
my uh, someone in my family did struggle with cancer, and so I really channeled a lot of that for Maggie. And um, yeah, and you know, some of my friends are goofy like her and. Joshua, I have some really, if you remember, he's really solid and kind of faithful and confident in a way. And, yeah, so I did put parts of my friends into these characters. And where's your favorite place to write? I can pretty much write anywhere. It's kind of a necessity. I've written on airplanes and trains. <laughs> wow. If I could actually choose, um, I actually do a lot of my writing in the library basement in the university. <laughs> and people don't actually know that you're a published author actually like doing something. No, it's really cold and quiet down there, and yeah. I love. It. <laughs> Has um, anybody ever come up to you and said, "Oh my God, can I have your autograph?" <laughs> Not the autograph thing, but I've had people. Actually, it just happened last week. A girl was like, Kelsey? I'm like, yeah, that's me. She's like, Kelsey Sutton? Yep. She's like, you're the author. She was really excited about it. So that was Oh, my cool. God. That's so that's exciting. Really cool. yeah. So what's your favorite place to read? Uh, probably in my room, actually. I love reading right before bed. So. Yeah. yeah. And I'm actually, I ran out of bookshelf space. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do now. They're just like, buy another bookshelf. <laughs> I don't have any room. I already have that. <laughs> no, I, I just like stack books up like a different way. It's, yeah. When, I, when I become a millionaire, I'm going to buy the biggest, most like awesome bookcase ever. That is. I think that's every book nerd's dream. I have that same dream. So. <laughs> yeah, I have so too. To have a library like. Uh, Bell in Beauty and the Beast. <gasps> that was yeah, people <laughs> rolling letters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that would be awesome. Uh, we are on five. Can we look forward to another book anytime soon? Uh, well, my next book is coming out next summer. There's not a definite date, but it's definitely summer of 2013, or 2014, I should say. And um, it's a companion novel to Some Quiet Place. So it does take place in the same world of personified emotions and elements, uh, but there's uh, it doesn't take place in Edson, like Some Quiet Place does. So different characters. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited for it. <laughs> awesome. Are you going to do another spin-off of this series at all? Um, I hope so. Nothing has been written in ink yet, so I can't say for sure, but I definitely have hopes. <laughs> Good. Uh, so what do you do in your spare time? I hang out with friends a lot, and um, I read way too much. <laughs> and then school is a big factor. I probably should throw that in, just in case any of my professors are watching. <laughs> <laughs> and I watch <laughs> Who's your inspiration? I read a lot of Bronte and Austin. I love Wuthering Heights and Pride and Prejudice. Mm -hmm. um, I really like Sarah Dessen. I think her writing is amazing. Uh, who else? Libba Bray, Great and Terrible Beauty. That series is amazing. Mm -hmm. Probably should check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really need to read that one. Really yeah, I think it's called the Gemma Doyle series, I believe. Yeah. And it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. I haven't read any of those books. I feel bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. Was my inspiration? Yeah. What's your favorite book turned movie? Probably Stardust. Neil Gaiman. <gasps> I love. I haven't read the book, but I love the movie. Movies oh my goodness. I love that movie. I I've seen it way too many times. I could probably quote the whole thing at you right now. <laughs> I I always wanted to read that book, but I just never got to it. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> They're both so good. But yeah. That is probably my favorite book during movie. Yeah. If you fall asleep to Pride and Prejudice almost every night. <laughs> <laughs> bad. Um, okay, so what inspired you to write this book? Uh, you know... Probably just the fact that I couldn't stop writing it. I mean, I don't know if there was a definite source of inspiration, but yeah, fear was on the first page, and 
I was addicted to writing him because he's so like sexy and weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, so yeah, and Elizabeth was extremely easy to write, oddly enough, even though she's emotionless and you'd think that'd be difficult. She, yeah. um, her, I don't know, it just was really easy for me to write. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we have a couple fun questions. Are you a team Edward or team Jacob? That's a mean question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'd probably have to say team Jacob. Yes! <laughs> it's warm, and I don't want to be freezing all the time hugging this vampire. <laughs> Jacob, I love werewolves! I think that has to attribute to living in Minnesota that you're already cold enough as it is. <laughs> Probably a Minnesota thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jacob, that's what I'll say. <laughs> yeah, Jacob all the way. Um, how about Team Peta or Gail? Dang it. You know what? I'm going to say Gail because Peta's name is Peta. <laughs> <laughs> the name sucks, so you just don't like it. So, I'm in love with Peta. <laughs> no. <laughs> Couldn't do it. <laughs> All right. Um, we have some questions, I think. Okay. Um, I, okay, it kind of froze. Sorry. Um, okay, so is there any advice you have for aspiring writers? I would say enjoy, this is going to sound bad, but I'm going to say enjoy writing for yourself while you can. Uh, don't be in a rush to get published, because I think I definitely was. I started querying at 16, and um, I, don't, I just think of all the books I could have written <laughs> during that time when, you know, I didn't have a contract. That sounds ungrateful, but just, you know, develop your skill and enjoy that time. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm loving being an author. It's amazing, and it's a dream come true. But I was definitely in a hurry, and I should have enjoyed that time more. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I understand. So now you learn from that, and you're going to um, take it slower one step at a time? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the work, I think, comes out better that way, too. Mm -hmm. So other than fear, which which other emotion was your favorite to write? Uh, courage. courage. Yeah. yeah. Watch this. He's hot too. <laughs> <laughs> but he's also kind. Of, he's just really mysterious. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I wish I could have had more room to develop him more. So maybe we'll see him in the future. I don't know. And once again, um, I just want to point out that this is, she's the author of this book. Uh, I, for some reason, got cut off. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Oh, weird. For some reason, I can't see. Um, this is Kelsey's book, just putting that out there. Um, and that's the book that we're talking about. So, courage, and why is that? Uh, well, just because he's so interesting, and we don't get to know a lot about him. All we know is that he's everything opposite fear is. But, you know, he has a lot to say to Elizabeth, and I don't know, I guess I kind of wondered how he got to be so wise, and I didn't really get a chance to explore that. So, mm -hmm. maybe someday. Yeah. someday. I think that would be a really good book. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. So do you have any other ideas for different stories, or are you just focusing on just this one? Oh, I always have ideas. I'm always cheating on another book with another book. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it's a big problem. Uh, right now, I am pretty far into a contemporary suspense story, and mm -hmm. I'm really enjoying writing it. It's different for me. Yeah. Okay. And that is that the one that's coming out next year? This is a super secret project that no. <laughs> Are you? Uh, what? You can't share a little, little something. Right. No. I will do this. It is about a girl named October. Ooh, I like that. I, I don't think I've read a book with a girl named October before. Yeah, I think it's unique. Nice. Okay. Well, I think that's all the questions that we had. Yes, and technically we should have started four minutes ago. Yeah, we started a little early. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you uh, is there anything you would like to tell your viewers? Um, well, thanks for tuning in, and um, I hope that you've been slightly entertained. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Learned something. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and um, so Kelsey is doing a giveaway, which is super awesome of her. Mm -hmm. And if you want to win a book, uh, her book, signed, this is to only U.S., I'm sorry, um, then you have to subscribe to our channel, which is Ray K Books, R-A-Y-K-A-Y Books, just look that up on YouTube, and comment on any video with a hashtag of Kelsey's Chat, and you'll be eligible to um, win. Sorry, somebody else was talking. And this will end next Saturday, which is the, let me check. The twenty first. So, ta -da! and you guys should follow Kelsey on Twitter. Yes, because she's really fun. Yes, Kelsey, you're awesome. Am I? Because I feel like all my tweets are kind of pointless. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like them. I like reading them. Today I tweeted about fruit flies and wine. <laughs> <laughs> You have like over a thousand followers. You are saying something interesting. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> when your when your followers start to dwindle, you'll know something's wrong. <laughs> yeah, all right. Good to know. Okay, thank you so much, Kelsey. Thanks, Kelsey. Well, thanks for having me again, girls. It was really fun talking to you. You yeah. too. Okay, bye bye. Bye.